Hey guys, welcome to my episode on pressure injected carburetors. A pressure injected carburetor gives us a lot of advantages over our traditional flow type carburetor in in terms of better fuel economy. It's less prone to icing and we could perform acrobatic maneuvers with the aircraft without worrying about the flow chamber because we've eliminated the flow chamber completely from the system. Alright, so in our pressure injector carburetor, we have a throttle body and we have a fuel control unit and a regulator unit. When you go into the schematics of this, we will understand a bit more of what's going on. I noticed on YouTube there's not a lot of videos explaining the pressure injector carburetor. I wonder why, but I'll give a knock at it. Hopefully you guys understand. And any questions, you just drop in the comments box and I'll answer them accordingly. Alright guys, welcome off the schematic diagram of our pressure carburetor. Um, as we go through the different stages, this diagram here become more and more complex. But for now, this is our basic setup, and we're going to go through this step by step. So if you look over here, it is just like a traditional carburetor setup. Air in through the venturi throttle body the throttle body has the throttle valve and to the manifold now if you notice there are some toppings one from the venturi section i guess i have to make a little adjustment to my regulatory system now um here you have a puppet valve and you have fuel coming from your fuel pump into this regulator and then going from here into a metering device which is our FCU the FCU then sends the fuel to our discharge nozzle so in a pressure type carburetor the discharge nozzle you could safely say it is it's after the butterfly valve or the throttle valve now let me go into the workings of this regulatory unit right here in the regulatory unit we have in chewy air going to chamber B and we have impact pressure here going to chamber A. Now, as the throttle opens, according to our venture principle, pressure will drop here in the throat of the carburetor. This low pressure, which is ducted to chamber B, Right, we cause a low pressure in chamber B and the high air flow in chamber A would cause this diaphragm to move towards chamber B because chamber B is now getting low pressure. The, the diaphragm is connected to a puppet valve. Now, as the diaphragm shifts to the area of low pressure, due to the throttle being opened our puppet valve moves and allows fuel to come from our fuel intake line to chamber d to chamber c and into our meter metering device fcu as the throttle closes venturi pressure decreases as pressure decreases as pressure increases sorry as pressure increases it also increases chamber B just pushing back to chamber A closing off the puppet valve 
and no fuel flow to our FCU and to our discharge nozzle. Alright guys, that is it for this part of today's lesson. We will be looking at our metric device FCU tomorrow. And we will be adding an extra chamber to our regulatory unit as well. And we will call that chamber, chamber E. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in today. I know I wasn't so um, clear on today's lesson, but I hope that you left with a good understanding. If you want me to do a next video like this one, hit me up, comment, subscribe. Thanks.